What is up guys? I'm Daddy Game Afraid and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Black Ops Cold War multiplayer reveal trailer. There's a whole long motherfucking live stream that went down. Uh, I missed it like yesterday and I'm going through bit by bit of the stuff that's been shown. Once I seen that there was a trailer of the multiplayer stuff, I was like, let's react to the trailer. I already bought Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I have it pre-ordered on the PS4. I am ready to go for the beta. I'm ready to go for the game's launch. And I'm going to be covering the game here on the channel. So I'm super excited for the game regardless. But let's check out the multiplayer trailer and see what's the offering on the multiplayer side for Call of Duty, because I'm... Okay. I wonder, are we going to see any Warzone captured on a PS5? Let's go! Okay. Oh my god. Oh. You're here because you're the best. I thought it was a multiplayer. Role that keeps the world from turning to cinders, comrades. Oh, damn. We there we go. The books, operate in the shadows. To keep the wolves at bay. Today, we reshape the world. What the Miami. What? What are we doing in Miami? Yo! <laughs> what? Let them come. Yo, let's go fighting on the streets of Miami, bruh. Oh, God. Nobody wants to play with a GR. But it's North Atlantic. We're in the water. Swimming is back, it looks like. There's no way we're doing jet skis without swimming. There we go. We got some biggie. I'll probably get copyright strike. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Do a fucking C4 in the water? What the fuck? Oh, this level looks insane. Yes. This is like boneyard in the desert mixed with a cave. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are we having... Oh, okay. For a second, I thought we have air combat. I was about to say, bruh, what the fuck? Oh, snowmobiles. Let's fucking go. Oh, my God. You is tight. That shit happens to you. Oh, come on. Tanks. Hopefully, that's like a ground war. You know what I'm saying? Like a separate mode. RC car. Yes. I... I whew. I miss it. I wish we had it in Warzone. The RC cars. Motherfuckers camping in the in the apartment buildings. Run that fucking car up the stairs. Motorcycles. Let's go. Notorious. November 13th. Pre-order digital copy and get early access to the open beta and instant okay. access to the Woods Operator Pack in Modern Warfare and Warzone. Okay. Zombies, let's go. Let's fucking go. Okay, a little tease for zombies. All right, Courage, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So that was cool. That was cool. It, it, it's kind of weird because Call of Duty, you know what you're getting. You know what you're getting. It's like going to McDonald's. You know exactly what you want to order. You don't ever switch it up. And if you do, you switch it up a little bit. You're going to get a burger or chicken or whatever the case you get. But you know what the meal is. I feel like that's exactly what I get anyway for Call of Duty. Looking forward to these titles. It's just comfort food. It's a place where me, 
my boys come through and we can use guns and shoot shit ran random motherfuckers that we don't know online and have fun call of duty they give us the setting to actually do that they give us the the platform to do that sometimes it's right and it feels good and then sometimes it doesn't this looks like for the most part it's looking good i'm not a huge fan of the water shit swimming and vehicle combat with tanks and, and the snowboard it looks cool and it'd be fun but to me that gets old and you end up you know going back to just having the meta class you know picking guns or choosing different guns that you like and then specking them out and then just using the guns focusing on like not even close combat but you know what i'm saying call of duty combat classic run shoot die run shoot die i feel like when you add shit like vehicles tanks you kind of lose that experience and that's just me I, I feel like when you want to play a game like that you play battlefield or you play pub i feel like call of duty you're jumping for that instant gratification of a quick kill of a quick you know match and stuff like that but you know it's it's 2020 games are evolving games are the scope of the games are getting bigger and they 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 want to flex that and it, it, you can see it you can see the polish on like these levels guns the way they look like they're controlling you could tell that you know like even the vehicles the way the vehicles are moving you could tell that there's a polish there when it comes to call of duty that's why to me i respect call of duty i i pay premium every year for another new call of duty because one the campaign is usually up to par up to snub two the multiplayer again and then three they give me the platform to communicate and just you know chill with the boys this trailer did it answer my questions my thirst about what i want to see from call of duty not really this trailer is like a good three out of five and again that's not taking away anything about call of duty i already have the game pre-ordered i'm gonna play the beta and i'm gonna play the shit out of this game when it comes out i, I paid for it already to me i feel like there was a lot of all of this like intro cinematic feels like it's out of the campaign it don't feel like the multiplayer experience but then when they drop us in and show us levels again i, I don't i don't know i gotta see the whole multiplayer um presentation to see how this kind of correlates or is there a story or what the fuck is going on but i feel like this the intro of it was kind of pointless adding to the fact that you know the levels and they didn't want the levels to kind of feel not connected but have purpose i think they've done that pretty well inside of this trail these levels do showcase at a mastery level like they look pretty they look fucking dope they said it was captured on a ps5 yes we could fucking tell everything looks fucking crisp and sharp and running pretty fucking smooth I don't know i got it there's tons of gameplay going on right now there's tons of people still live streaming the, the shit i want to go through and just chop up make probably make more reactions to a couple of gameplays and stuff like that, that i could get my hands on let me know what you guys think of the initial trailer of call of duty black ops cold war again i'm a fan of it i give it a three out of five i just wish there was something that made me be like oh shit like you know the zombies part at the end was was one of those shits but I feel like it could something could have gotten me a little bit more excited. They should have showed someone jumping out of the plane maybe in Warzone. Like doing a, 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 a Battle Royale thing. I know they said Call of Duty Warzone is continuing with Cold War. But what does that mean? Did they bring in the weapons over? Did they bring in the vehicles over? Because snow that this would be dope. A snowmobile in fucking Warzone. That would be that'd be ill. I want to see exactly how they're going to blend it together. That That's my question. So I am going to look through the um, live stream and see if they have answers about that. If they do have answers about that in the comment section below, you know where to find me. I answer all comments, so I'm gonna meet you guys down there. Let me know again what you think about the trailer. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day talking Call of Duty. I got Let's Plays popping up of Call of Duty on here on the channel, as well as discussion videos, guides, pretty much every game that I'm playing. I drop them here on the channel. So again, if you're digging the vibes, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next next one and we got zombies again i'm down with it thank you 
Thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.